We are in the middle of summer, which means the perfect time for grilling. We've got some great citrus flavors. We've got a variety of meats. This is gonna be kind of our own little Midwest luau, perfect for any day during the summer or even leading into the fall. So let's get started. To kick off this whole Midwest luau, what we're going to do is make a couscous shrimp salad. So in order to do that, we're gonna start with that couscous star ingredient. And we're going to take one and a quarter cup of couscous. I have the tricolor couscous. You can use any kind of couscous you want as long as it's not pearl couscous. So in that bowl, I'm going to then add one cup of chicken stock to start hydrating my couscous. And now I'm just gonna grab this little scraper, stir it all together so that it starts coming all together. And we're gonna let that sit for just a moment. And now we're gonna work on that star with the shrimp. So what I have inside of this bowl is a pound and a quarter of shrimp. And what I have here is it's just frozen shrimp that I have thawed. When you buy your shrimp, you can use frozen and thaw it or if you want to, you can buy fresh shrimp. The only thing is, one thing I like about getting that frozen shrimp and then letting it thaw is it's pretty easy to get to and uh, then it's already deveined for me. So on top of that, I am going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. I then have another tablespoon of fresh lime juice. And I'm going to take just a pair of tongs and I'm gonna to toss that together. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix in a teaspoon of cumin and I'm gonna do this in chunks because I have a tendency to sprinkle and then toss it a little bit. Because if I just dump it all on the top, then you get one shrimp that's just like cumin. Then the very last thing that I'm gonna to toss in is a quarter cup of cilantro again. So we have some of our flavors that are going throughout the meal. Some of the flavors that we have that we're carrying around from item to item are cilantro and lime. It's going to be part of all of our dishes today. So now I'm gonna clear aside what I've got going on here and we're gonna get ready to start building our salad packets. So what I've done to get my packet ready is it's a grill friendly salad. So I have two sheets of aluminum foil and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in with some cooking spray and I'm just going to spray this a little bit to keep it from sticking. And now I have some chopped spinach. So I'm gonna grab about a handful. I'm gonna sprinkle that on. And what I wanna do is I wanna put a little scoop, about a sixth of my couscous on top of here. Then what I'm gonna do is take a sixth of my shrimp and put that in there too. Just like so. And so now the last thing I need to do is take this and seal it all up nice and tight. And once I have my six packets all sealed up, I can transfer this over to my grill. And I want my grill to be at about medium. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna take about 15 minutes to cook. The nice thing about this salad is you can actually make this year round in your kitchen if you wanted to. You just cook it in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna make the rest of my packets. So I have six of my shrimp, spinach, and couscous packets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer it over to my grill now. You have some options here. I could put it directly onto the grill and it would cook a little bit quicker, but I like to go nice and slow. My grill has two layers, so I'm gonna put it on the top rack of my grill. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay these up here and there's a sneak peek. There's some roasted corn in there that will be coming your way in just a moment. So I'm gonna lay these just on the top, like so. And I'm gonna let these slowly cook until that shrimp is totally cooked through. So let's see what this is all about. On top of our couscous salad, we're gonna put a salsa that's nice and cold to counteract that grill part of it. So what I have is one quarter of a cup of onion, and I have red onion here. It's best when you cut this red onion to rinse it off, otherwise it's gonna be really intense compared to the other flavors. Then I have one avocado that I've just chopped up into little bits of pieces. I have one mango that I've then cut up into little bits and pieces as well. 
I have a tomato. I just took one tomato and diced that as well. Now I'm gonna give that a ginger toss. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more flavors to it. And remember I said that lime and cilantro are gonna kinda go throughout with this. So what I'm gonna do is I have a tablespoon of lime juice. I also have a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I have one quarter cup of cilantro here. And all I'm gonna do is gently toss this. Once I have it all combined, I'm just gonna put it in my refrigerator to get all of those uh, different flavors to come together. Or if you're outside at a picnic like I am today, I just have some ice in my cooler and I have a larger dish than necessary. That way I can lay it down on top of my ice and have it spread out and really cool that down to really counteract that grilled flavor. So now that I have it spread out a little bit, what I wanna do is just add some pepper, Just add some salt. Give it one more quick stir. And then spread it all out nice and flat again because then I can transfer it into my cooler or if I were in the house, into my refrigerator. I don't want this in a bowl where it really piles up on each other because what I wanna do is cool this down nice and quick so it's ready when my salad comes off the grill in just a few moments. So our salad is on the grill, and so now we're gonna start thinking about what are we going to have for our side dish. So for our side dish, we're gonna have grilled corn on the cob. Now this is a super easy way to make corn on the cob. So what I've got is I've got six ears of corn here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna take all of the husks off because I wanna grill in that husk, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up so I get to those lighter colors underneath. So I'm gonna take about two layers off. The other thing that I like to do is once I get those outer layers off, just like this, I like to rip out that hair because that's just gonna burn up and it's gonna cause a lot of unnecessary smoke on the grill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off all of my ears of corn. What we're gonna do is by leaving the husks on the ears of corn, we're going to create kind of a corn steam bath. So we're gonna get some of the flavor from those stalks into that ear of corn. So it's a way of just re-enhancing that corn flavor that's inside. So I now have my six ears of corn husked, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put them directly onto my grill. I don't have to worry about doing anything fancy or special with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it right on the grates, and every few mo uh, moments, that would be excessive, every few minutes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly rotate these on my grill. What I'm gonna do is I wanna keep cooking these and I'll know that they're ready when these husks have really turned brown and all of the air has gone out of them because that means that the corn inside has totally steamed and sealed in all of those good corn juices that are in there. So I'm gonna close this down, I'm gonna let it cook for a little while, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making my butter sauce that I can put onto my corn. So in order to do that, on my grill over here, I have a cast iron skillet, and I have three tablespoons of butter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop that butter right into that sizzling skillet, and I'm gonna melt down my butter. And I wanna get it totally melted down before I add anything else into it. And this is what I'm gonna to use to eventually brush on those ears of corn when they come out to be my beautiful side dish for my meal. You can, if you want to, use unsalted or salted butter. That way, if the guests at your picnic for the 4th of July want to decide how salty everything is, you could use that unsalted butter and they could just salt to taste. So then in that as well, what I'm gonna do is now that all of my butter has melted, I'm just simply going to turn my heat all the way off and I'm gonna let that sit for just a moment to bring some of that heat down. And then what I'm gonna do to make this easier to spread, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of olive oil. What's gonna happen is by adding that extra oil, it's gonna make it easier to spread all over my corn once it comes off the grill. But I want that butter to have a smoky flavor as well. So what I have in here is some smoked paprika. So I'm just gonna grab a pinch of it. I'm gonna sprinkle it into my butter. It's gonna give it an extra kick and so what I can do now is just come in, stir that together, and I'm gonna let all those flavors marry together while my gr uh, grill works on cooking all of that corn. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let all those flavors marry together in that skillet while the corn cooks so that we have that rich smoky flavor when it's time to eat our corn.
So to go with our delicious Parmesan corn, we are going to have some cilantro lime chicken. So the first thing we need to do is get our marinade ready. Now normally I'd be doing that in my kitchen, but it's beautiful out here and it's a perfect day to do all your cooking outside. So what I have is I have four tablespoons of fresh lime juice. To that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add one teaspoon of cumin, and I'm going to add just a pinch of some smoked paprika. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my knife for convenience, stir that all together. So in order to start marinating my chicken, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lime marinade and some olive oil. In this container, I have a few teaspoons of olive oil and I'm just simply going to drizzle that over the top. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my lime marinade and I'm going to sprinkle, sprinkle that over the top as well. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have some chopped cilantro here. This is a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover my chicken in that as well. And this is when we start to get some funky colors going on. There we go. Looks really festive for our Midwest luau vibe that we're going for. And then the last thing that I need to do to get this chicken ready is cut some lime slices. So I'm just gonna come in with one lime and I'm simply gonna cut some thin slices, just like so. And this is gonna give me a little added punch of my lime. And the last thing I'm gonna do with these lime slices is simply lay one lime slice on the top of the thickest part of each of my chicken breasts, just like so. And I have these two little ends of lime, so I'm just gonna simply come over and just squirt that on the top of my container, just like so. So now my chicken is totally marinated. So all I need to do is grab some plastic wrap, which it's a little bit breezy, so I had it tucked under. I'm just gonna simply come across here and press that on the top of my chicken to seal in all of my flavors. And I'm gonna put this back into my cooler with ice because I'm outside. If I was inside, what I'd do is put it in my refrigerator and this is a five minute marinade. So we're gonna let this sit, come together for these five minutes and then we're gonna get ready to put it on the grill. So now that my chicken is totally marinated, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my lime discs and I'm just gonna toss them in my trash because I don't want to grill it with the lime on there. It gives a flavor that's not the most pleasant with that lime rind in there. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over to my grill and I'm gonna open it up and I have half of my grill set aside because I have my beautiful salad, my corn. This looks like ugh, a real picnic here. And now I'm just gonna take this and transfer it over onto my grill. And so now I just need to watch my chicken, finish up my corn, wait for my salad, and then, hey, we're ready to eat. It's gonna take about 20 minutes for my corn and my chicken to finish up. So we'll take care of that, and then we'll be good to go. There's a couple finishing touches we're gonna take care of when that corn comes out to give it an extra kick, because remember, we've got that butter in that pan. So let's cook this up and see what our picnic luau Midwest flair, summertime, July 4th, all looks like. So we can see here the corn is really nice and charred. So what I need to do now is come over and peel back all of the husks that are still attached. Not only do I want to take the husks that are still attached, but also any of that corn silk. So those are those little strings that help nourish the corn while it's growing. So I'm simply gonna take and pull this back. You're gonna have some little pieces where you're like, oh no, it's burned, but it's not, I promise you that. So we're simply gonna take this and I'm just gonna snap off these pieces the best that I can. So once I have this pulled back, I'm just gonna take a knife and I'm gonna cut off all of these pieces. I'm just gonna put this into my serving dish for right now. It's okay if you get a little bit of those husks in there. It's not going to change anything that we're doing. 
It's nice and steamy. It appears like, oh no, you've got to be burning yourself, but really it's not that bad because those husks are so thin. The flavor of this corn is interesting because if you've ever been to a county fair where you can buy corn on the cob, this is how they do it. They take off some of the husks and then they grill it up just on their open pit. And so if this flavor is very reminiscent of that. So if you're a person that likes those county fairs and that state fair flavor of corn, this is the way you wanna make your corn this summer. So now what I wanna do with my corn is I wanna take this back over to my skillet where I have my butter and olive oil and I basically want to keep brushing the outsides and totally cover up my corn. So now I have all of my corn with my paprika and my butter and my olive oil. So what I want to do is remember we're carrying cilantro through just sprinkle the tops just like so. I'm going to grab and just sprinkle some of that smoked paprika on there too. You can also have more of this on the table so your guests can add what they want. And then what I like to do is just really coat the bejesus out of this with Parmesan cheese. My corn doesn't need to really be salted all that much once I get that Parmesan cheese on there. And because this just came off the grill, it's gonna be nice and hot. It's gonna start instantly melting that cheese. So our corn is done, our salad is done, our chicken is done. Let's see what this party looks like. So we have a variety of delicious things, perfect for any picnic or luau or special night during the month of July. So we have our corn with our paprika, nice and fire roasted on our grill, and it's topped with some Parmesan cheese for that salty kick. We also have our cilantro lime chicken, which picks up the notes from the cilantro on that corn. And then we have this fantastic shrimp and couscous salad. It's still a hidden surprise for us. So we have six packets. So we have some wilted spinach in there, we have the shrimp, and then we have that tricolor couscous. And then what I'm gonna do is I have my salsa with my mango and my onions and my avocado, and I'm just gonna simply put a scoop right on top. And that is a delicious grilled dinner, sure to be momentous for any night in July. So remember, the apron's optional, but the flavor isn't. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. <laughs> wow, I have six packets of shrimp. 